so for today's video i'll be making this this is a still life picture and it's a real photography so i'm drawing the bottle first draw the mug I'll make the orange I removed all the extra lines and I made it a little bit more prominent. Now I'm going to start coloring and I'm going to start by coloring the bottle first. I'm using sap green with black and some yellow ochre. Now I'm going to color the orange. I'm going to color the darker area first and then I will move to the lighter part. colored the mug and I'm using crimson red with little bit of black for the background I'm going to make a cloth texture as it is in the picture so I'm going to color the gray areas first As you can see I'm copying the textures and the details as it is from the photo and I'm trying to make it look like a proper glass.
so as you can see i'm adding more uh, black to the darker areas of the bottle this will enhance the dimension of the bottle and give it a proper 3d look Okay, now I'll work on the tablecloth. I'm using the same color that I have used for the background. And I'm just gonna color all the folds first and then slowly move towards the lighter areas. So as you can see, I have added white to the color and I'm covering up the areas that I have left before. And I'm going to do the same for the background. So I have mixed green with a little bit of white and I'm using it to make the bottle look more shinier because this is going to make the bottle look like a real glass bottle. All you need to do is just take a pic, zoom in and see what part have what color, what are the minute details and you can easily create a hyper realistic painting. Okay, so as my bottle is almost done, I am going to work on the mug.
so i'm going to be working on the orange and i am going to make each and every detail as i can see in the picture So this is the final result, this is how it looks and thank you so much for watching.